Okay, I'm in the backyard and they're gonna put a pool back here. It's gonna be a pretty decent sized pool for this backyard. Uh, so what we have here, and I'll step it this way for a second. Along this fence line, sewer comes underneath it right near this bird bath hole post right here. Goes this way, six feet deep. There's a Y going back somewhere. Over here, heads right to that manhole, right? There's a pipe going back this way. The, the city has said it's abandoned. Melvin and Whistle said it was abandoned. I can't get my camera up it, so it must be abandoned or just must be a dead end. Sewer turns right, goes through this way. Her main sewer connects over here. Underneath all this, right at this footer, right by this lawnmower, oh, leaf flip snowblower, right there, seven feet deep, footer. Seven feet deep, footer. Okay, so we need to figure out a way to reroute this away from the footers and away from everything else. So, what the plan, I guess, is going to be is grab this pipe, bring it over to this pipe somehow, run it backwards, grab this pipe, bring it straight across back this way, 45, 45 into this. The pool's gonna be seven feet off of this structure, right? So seven feet, it's gonna put you about here. So bring it as close to the structure as possible, come straight down through here, take out this fence, take out this uh, patio. We're not gonna be putting it back because you're gonna have a whole bunch of work done. Bring it here, and then instead of going underneath your deck, bring it out. All right, now is when we get into concrete. All right, they're fine with the patch. I'll show you the, the manhole down here, but this thing runs right to a manhole. Sewer's five feet deep over here we're gonna be about four and a half five feet deep as we come right through here we have to bring that sewer most likely this way right down through here we'll connect we'll grab it back there by the foundation wall bring it 30 feet over to here uh, and tie it in here bring it right through this keep it away from the footers so that it can be repaired if ever needed a clean out underneath there would be nice as well bring it in wide in everything then turns this way uh, sewers six inches from what I could tell uh, comes this way and then you're gonna follow kind of the path of water over toward the neighbor's house. And then from here, we can reconnect it to this uh, manhole right there. Just turn it right back in right before the manhole, right for this pipe. This pipe's five feet deep right here. It's gonna be five feet deep as well. It's water-based paint, so it'll come right off. Anyway, so that, that's where the pipe is. We just need to grab it from there, go 30 feet to here, and then I'll count out this Reroute here real quick. We'll reroute it. Grab this pipe as it comes in on this Y, but we got to turn it. So we're going to turn it from back here and go five. So it's 75 feet plus 30 feet. We've got 105 foot at five to seven feet deep. That's what we do and that's how we replace it. Now we have to cap off all the old pipes uh, that we are abandoning and then they can put their pool in. So reroute, come across here to there. Take the main line, bring it out through these openings. I don't care which one, but preferably this one or this one. Come underneath, tie it in, new clean out back by the house.